kuja kwako kulinua jina lako kwani wewe watosha na wewe furaha tu wewe watosha tunainua mikono yetu Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. So we appreciate the Lord this wonderful day. We thank God for the new month, the month of uh, September. We appreciate God for the month of August. He has been faithful and to us, even over the lunch hour programs, even as a church, even those who have been watching through our online platform. We appreciate God that August had been a blessing and we give God the glory. And now because God has given us life in the precious name of Jesus. Come on, someone just rise up on your feet. Open your mouth, start prophesying over the month of September, even those who are watching online, we speak and declare that the month of September shall be a blessing. Take authority in the name of Jesus and speak over your September. Command the month of September to be yielded, to release a blessing over you, over your family, over your business, over your career. Even those who are watching as far as up outside this nation uh, open your mouth and declare that september shall be a blessing uh, that september shall be a blessing uh, that you shall enjoy the blessings of the lord uh, in the precious name of jesus uh, somebody redeem the month 
month of September from every man of affliction. Redeem the man from every powers of darkness. Open your mouth and declare principalities of darkness will not take authority over your September in the precious name of Jesus. Let brothers in the river Somebody open your mouth and declare as I have entered a new season. I have God has given me an opportunity to see a new month. Declare that you shall walk in the purpose process of God uh, in the precious name of Jesus La braka zeke liba kato le brodo zindi riba bo shata la braka zeka bayanta rikanta babo rekete bebe zika babo le brodo zindi riba bo shata Braca zeka bayanta la boko li braga tore babo le trodo zindi riba bo shato la boko li braga tore basana abra zeka bayanta rikanta babo rekete bebe zika babo le trodo zindi riba bo shata Program your family, program your children, declare over this season they shall walk under the power of God, they shall walk under the blessings of the Lord. Declare the enemy shall not take advantage of them in the precious name of Jesus. Let brothers in Tiribabosha. La mose ke li baka to pradia bazano le produzin di rima moshata la raka se kababo le produzin di rima moshata la raka se kabayata la raka se kababo rekete be be si kababo amos sabori open your mouth and prophesy prophesy over the matter. Prophesy the goodness of the Lord. Prophesy preservation. Moses tells the children of Israel, they, this Egyptian that you saw, you shall see them no more. Open your mouth and declare the affliction you have seen since January to August. You shall not experience the same afflictions in the precious name of Jesus. Le brodo zindi riba bo shato la boko li braga tore babo la braga zeka bayanta abra zeka babo le brodo zindi riba bo shato le brodo zindi riba bo shata declare afflictions in your life affliction in your businesses affliction in your finances declare every manner of affliction it shall not occur a second time in the precious name of Jesus le brodo ziba kato le brodo zebe ke li brakato la braka zeka bayata come on somebody open your mouth and prophesy prophesy over your September declare a release declare a release le bo se ke li bakato le brodo ziba kato la braka zeka bayata Open your mouth and declare that the door shall be open over you. Paul says a great door is open, but there are many adversaries. Declare over September. The God shall open uh, significant doors uh, over your life, uh, over your family. Declare every adversary that is standing uh, against your blessings, uh, against your doors. Uh, declare they shall be uprooted uh, in the precious name of Jesus.
Sa le prode zindi di babosha tu la boko li braga to la braga se kabayenta la braga se kababo zene e prode zindi di babo la boko li braga to ne babo la braga se kabayenta la braga se kababo rekete bebe zi kababo le prode zindi di babosha to la boko li braga to le Braga seca baiata, la braga seca babo reke liba kato pravia, le crode sinti mamo, la braga seca baiata, la braga seca babo reke liba kato, le crode sinti mamo, la moko libra kato, la braga seca baiata, lo with Thank you for the month of September in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. I want you now to declare your desires over this month, the desires that you have, the expectation that you have over the month of September. I want us to lay our expectations, our desires, our plans before the Lord and declare God. May she intervene over every desire, over Le prode zimni riba bo shata la braka seka bayata rikata babo rekete bebe zika babo le prode zimni riba bo shato la mokoli braka zore babo la braka seke liba kato prania le prode zimni Come open your mouth and declare whatsoever you want to see over the month of September, whatsoever you desire God to do for you, whatsoever you want to see in your family, over your business, over your finances, open your mouth and declare my September. I want to see profit over my business. I want to see profit over the labor of my hands. I want to see blessings. Over my family in the name of Jesus. La braga seke riba kato. Ebro de zinti riba bo shato. La boko li braga zore babo. Le bro de zinti riba bo shata. Come on, somebody release yourself. He says in the book of Psalms, chapter 20, I will grant you your heart desire and fulfill all your purposes. Declare September, September. May all your purposes, may all your desires may all your plans may all your expectation come to fulfillment in the precious name of jesus we give you all our praise just begin to back on your loving kind of sense of god towards our life in the name of jesus why can't you lift up of the king
Jesus r e n Come on, declare your body to be praised. Yes, you are the King of Zion. King of Zion. Judas Lion. r e n Wake up to lift your voice, declare. Now, b o n o t w a l e m a k a u b a Yesuta, w a n a c h u k o s h u k a n i katika maisha y e t u a Yesuta, w a l a t u n a s e m a w e n i f a n w a w a f a n i f a n e Yes, 
The presence of God is here. God is doing something in somebody's life. Somebody shout a good amen. I want to invite you to have your chairs, but I will ask you to move to the chairs ahead of you. Uh, my sister on the left too, let's move so that we would all be seated together. Quickly, let's move. Let's move, occupy the chairs ahead of us so that we could be all. So, Apostle Kiman is also in the will of God. We are in the season of God. I need an amen. Alright, so we are focusing on Psalms chapter number 102 and verse number 13 to verse number 14. That has been our key focus uh, because we are praying and invoking the mercy of God over these seven days. So if you have joined us and probably you have not been fasting, please don't feel guilty. We are not forcing anyone into this, but we are encouraging you to be a part of this season. So if you would, if you don't mind, you can be able to be a part of this season by starting up the fasting even tomorrow, if you would. And we are going all the way up until Sunday. But I also need to mention that we are doing it also in the evening from 5.30. Uh, that is Wednesday starting today. Thursday, tomorrow and Friday 5.30 till about 6.30 exactly. We are going to be doing Holy Communion. Now there are five things we will be doing. One, uh, we'll be permitting people to come in at 5.30 and having their own personal time to seek the Lord. Is that okay? So for about 20 minutes 
minutes from 5.30 till about 5, uh, uh, 5.50. We will give you room just to have time to make prayer for yourself. You can come in even slightly earlier. And then exactly 10 minutes to uh, 6, uh, there will be one of the leaders or pastors that will be picking up and leading us through a corporate prayer for 30 minutes. And then exactly 10 minutes to 6.30, that is 6.20, uh, there will be praise and worship that will be done briefly. And then we will get into the breaking of bread and make declarations over your lives and believe me something is shifting if you're with me on this shout a good amen. amen so i'll be delighted to see all of you this evening at exactly 5 30 don't wait for anyone don't let the, the rains detract you i'm proud of the fact some of you have even dared the rains this afternoon make sure that you come and for mercy more than ever before the scripture says this is the other foundational reason he says for your servants take pleasure in her stones and show favor uh, to her dust in other words they have been investing they have been working hard to plow in the kingdom of god so that's the reason why they have to call on god when they can sense that the season has already appeared now i also want to say this that this week also when you will be praying apart from praying for yourself praying for your family praying for the nation of kenya because we are also going to be invoking god's mercy concerning our nation i want you to sow a seed to this ministry and the seed will not be financial though if the lord moves you to also sow a financial seed we have no problem we will receive because where we are as a ministry we are really believing god for resources we are bit behind of certain things so we are calling upon people to also give but besides that i'm calling you to also sow a seed of prayer to this ministry not less than one hour this week is that okay if ukigongwa ikuwe 30 minutes amen yani kwa mbaya ni mbaya take at least 30 minutes but if you do one hour that you're just sowing a seed to pray for word of light sowing a seed to pray for the pastor for the pastors for their families i want you to do so and let's believe god that let me say this i feel a move of god is actually hanging on us and the time is now here so we need to shift this thing to the next level psalms chapter number 23 and verse number 6 psalms 23 and verses number 6 then we begin our journey and remember i'm just teaching briefly for those of you that have joined us via uh, facebook live please just flow together with us whatever we are saying you can also be a part of it and i trust god will also help you psalms 23 and verse number six out of every word that david has been speaking the lord is my shepherd and all throughout his conclusion is very profound he says is there are two things that must follow me he says surely goodness and, and mercy somebody say goodness and mercy he says surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days not some of it all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord for forever now when we began yesterday i was able to Number two, mercy is assigned or intended to nullify what we consider as a consistent negative cycles or demonic attacks that are set against people. One, to contend with the uh, impending judgment. Number two, mercy is assigned to also nullify or to deal with the evil cycles that are assigned against people and number three mercy is designed to mark a person for speed or to give them accelerated results these are three reasons why you must always believe that god will avail mercy to you because in study of the scripture you will realize that 
in the Bible, mercy is one of the nature of God. And mercy is not just God's nature. It's one of the seats that God has. If you read the Old Testament, the Bible talks of the seat of mercy. In the New Testament, you don't see the seat of mercy. You see the seat of judgment. But the seat of mercy was actually dealt with when Jesus sat on it. And that's why the Bible says he sat at the right hand side of the Father. And the reason he has sat there is to make intercession for us. Now he makes intercession by pleading for mercy. So you must always remember that. So we began to define, we later on moved and defined what mercy is. We said number one, mercy is defined as what, when God sustains suspends all laws when god suspends all laws in order to bless a person in psalms 102 and verse number 13 we observe that when god suspends every law in order to bless a person in psalms 102 and verse 13 he says you will arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yet the set time has come number two we said <clears throat> because i'm rushing Second definition of mercy is when God focuses his love on an individual. When God zeroes his love on an individual. The book of First Chronicles, First Chronicles 17 and verses number 13. First Chronicles 17 and verse 13 talks of God saying, My mercy concerning Solomon, my mercy will not be taken away from him. So in other words, God is saying, I have put a spotlight on Solomon. I have zeroed in my love on this young man. That is the reason why Solomon became a success. Not by labor but by the mercy of God. Romans chapter 9 and verse 15 and verse 16. Romans 9, 15 and verses number 16. Listen to what the Bible says. Moses, God is speaking and this is Paul mentioning. He says, for he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So some people say, that God has no favorites but let me make it clear God does have favorites when you got born again you are God's favorite are you hearing me but you must understand that you have to learn to provoke or invoke the mercy of God look at verse number 16 it says for then it is not of him who will neither of him that runs but of him who God shows mercy so there are people who apply effort and there are those people that are more diligent than many of you but there are others that succeed more not because of hard work but the mercy of god spotlighted them may mercy spotlight you in jesus name number three i'm just teaching you because i'm taking you somewhere today number three i stated yesterday that mercy is when god's goodwill when the goodwill of god is focused to a miserable and a afflicted people when the goodwill of god is focused on a miserable and afflicted people with the intention of helping them with the intention of helping them so if you look at your life and you've just had battles afflictions things that have been working next that if right left and center when you finish one battle you go to another one and right, left, and center. When mercy appears, it is a focusing of the goodwill of God to bring assistance to you. It is a focus of the goodwill of God to anyone miserable or afflicted. We observe scriptures like when God, or rather Jesus was uh, called upon by a father of a lunatic, called upon by a mother of a child who was bound, or a girl who was bound by demons. And also when there were two blind men that called on the mercy of God and Jesus helped each one of them. Now today I want to quickly move ahead and I want to talk about pointers of mercy. Pointers of mercy. Are you ready for me? And then we are going to pray, alright? Like I said, I'm teaching like this and then we engage prayer. Pointer number one, God is rich in mercy. God is rich in mercy. Ephesians chapter number two and verses number four. Ephesians 2 and verses number 4. The Bible says, But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he has loved us. God, number one, is rich in mercy. Why is it important to learn that the rich, I mean, why is it important to know about God being rich in mercy? The reason is because it means that the mercy of God can never run out. That means, in other words, that you can never, you should never desist from requiring of God to release his mercy upon you. In Psalms chapter 23 again and verse number 6, when David is lifting up a prayer, David says that surely his goodness and his mercy shall follow me 
all the days not some of the days all of them so the mercy of god is full god is rich in mercy he can never run dry of his mercy now that is to tell you that every morning you should be provoked to requiring him to pour mercy upon you psalms chapter number 62 you could go there psalms chapter 62 and verses number eight the word mercy is also possessing another term the word mercy also means loving kindness that word mercy is also the word loving kindness psalms chapter rather 42 and verse number eight i'm sorry psalms 42 and verses number eight that word mercy and loving kindness are similar and i want you to look at what the scripture says it says the Lord will command his loving kindness. Now remember, I'm teaching you because I want you to pray effectively. God is committed to release. Remember, if mercy will suspend laws, it means every day God will be suspending laws on your behalf. And the Bible says here that the Lord will command his loving kindness. So we can put a stroke there. His mercy in the daytime. Day is when people are committed to work. And God says, in your time of labor, my mercy will speak for you. And it will never run dry because I am rich in mercy. Number two, point number two of the mercy of God. His mercy is everlasting. The mercy of God is everlasting. Psalms chapter number 100 and verses number five. Psalms 100 and verse number five. The mercy of God is everlasting in fact one particular translation says it endures to every generation now the bible says very clearly for the lord is good and his mercy somebody say his mercy say it like you believe it will work for you shout it again say his mercy the bible says his mercy is everlasting so it never has an end never has an end that's the reason why you must never get tired of requiring it of him. The Bible says, and his truth endureth to all generations. His mercy is everlasting. God has given you a mercy that will never cease. Number three, point number three, the mercy of God saves. The mercy of God has the ability to save. Titus chapter three and verses number five. The mercy of God has power to save you. Now please understand the word save here doesn't just mean to make you get born again. The original interpretation of the word saved means to be brought to a place of advantage. So any person that is saved is advantaged. Titus 3 and verse number 5. Any person who is saved has been brought to a place of advantage, not disadvantage. A place of profit and lot losses. So the mercy of God brings you salvation. The mercy of God can bring you to a place of advantage. When you have mercy, you are never disadvantaged. When you have mercy, you are never suffering losses. When you have mercy, you have an advantage. When you have mercy, you are always in the path of profit. Can I hear an amen right here? So look at what he says. Not by the works of righteousness which you have done. But according to his mercy, he has saved us. Now in this specific scripture, he talks of salvation in terms of pulling you from darkness into light. But again, the original interpretation of the word saved means brought to a place of advantage. So anyone saved is not disadvantaged. And it is mercy that saves you. Let me hear louder. Amen. Psalms 85 and verse number 7. That's why today we are going to pray. And we will provoke the mercy of God. And while we are going to be praying, that mercy will push you to advantages. None of you will be disadvantaged from today. No matter what you go through, you will never get stuck. Mercy will constantly speak for you. Psalms 85 and verses number 7. And again, David is mentioning a statement here. He says, show us your mercy over lord and grant us your salvation mercy saves mercy brings you to advantage may you receive this in jesus name if you believe it i need a louder amen i want you to make a prayer together with me lift up your right hand say oh god i celebrate your mercy i celebrate your mercy because it brings salvation to me i am not disadvantaged i am advantaged Number four, you can write this down. Remember, I'm teaching you so that as you write it, we pray. The fourth thing about mercy is that mercy is invoked or it is stirred up in prayer. Mercy is invoked in the place of prayer. So in as much as God's mercy is 
all continue on. In as much as God is rich in mercy, you have to invoke it in the place of prayer. The book of uh, Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter number 2 from verse 25 to verses number 27, we observe a particular person who go, uh, Paul had to pray for and it was a mercy of God that was able to work for him because of intercession. Philippians 2 from verse 25 to verses number 27. He says, yet I considered it necessary to send you Epaphroditus, my brother, that terminology that comes out in form of tongues. Amen. It looks like Greek. Rabasanda like a raboy. Are you understand? Epaporoditias. Are you getting me? He says, My brother, my fellow worker, my fellow soldier, but your messenger, the one who ministered to my need. Now look at the next scripture. We are going on. Since he was longing for you all, and as he was distressed because you had you had heard that he was sick. Now notice he was actually unwell. But look at what he says. For indeed he was sick almost to death. He was almost about to die. But God had mercy on him. God had mercy on him. Now if you observe, Paul had actually prayed for this man. This guy was about to die. But Paul invoked mercy. And God had to save this man from the spirit of death. One thing that you have to understand, mercy needs prayer. I need an amen. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse number 16. And then we are going to stop here and we are going to pray. Hebrews 4 and verses number 16. Now listen to this. When we invoke mercy in the place of prayer, God arises. Let me say this. In the place of prayer, there are particular seats of God. God sits both in judgment and God sits both in mercy. Between the two of them, in as much as God is willing to judge, God is more in a hurry to release mercy. But God will always look for a believer that will arouse the mercy in prayer. That every time you pray and you say, Lord, remember mercy. Then God says, I'm suspending all the laws. And God begins to favor you in a very unusual way. Let me hear an amen. So look at what he says. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. So we need to understand that every time we approach God in the place of prayer, mercy is what we receive. Please listen to me. I know you have bound devils. I know you have rebuked and reversed them. I know you dealt with your grandmother's demon, your foundational demons. I know you have done so. But let me submit to you that there is another prayer you can also engage. That in all the class God is provoked to wake up and to begin to work wonders on the behalf of these people. Remember, mercy is not because you are a sinner, neither because you messed up. Mercy is only to say, God, I know you are the only one that can send help to me. Mercy is you recognizing recognizing that the hand of man is weak and it is vain and without ability but with god you will do valiantly mercy is recognizing that the power of man is limited but the power of god has no limitation i read the bible and the bible says in one time in egypt that they cried out to joseph and they told joseph oh joseph money has failed in egypt that means money has a limitation Money is limited. Never be deceived. Money cannot answer all your prayers. I know you don't want to say amen, but I'm telling you the truth. Money has limitations. They cry to Joseph. And they say to Joseph, money has failed in 2007. In 2008, many people look at Kenya and one lady actually came all the way from Nyaururu to come and talk to us. And she shared with me, then I sent her to Pastor Margaret. And she told me, Pastor, I'm a pastor and I'm an intercessor. God sent me to Rift Valley so that I can be able to come and talk to a few people who are remnants in this city and see whether I could give them the message of God that in this land of Wasingisho and Rift Valley, if you people will pray all of Kenya even during election never looks at Nyanza never looks at Central never looks at course have you ever noticed that they don't look at Nairobi they don't look at Eastern there is only West or Western there is only one place every Kenyan is watching. Whatever happens there determines the trajectory of all things. If there will be no war in Rift Valley, there will never be war in Kenya. That's one of the reasons why if there is a place we ought to pray for is Rift Valley. So the lady told me, man of God, I'm hoping that this message has reached. And I tell you, listen to me, the truth is this. If God holds was in Gishu and Rift Valley, nothing will happen. So many of you may not be aware, but the first battle that began in 2007 started in Langas. 
Just a small battle. But you might be shocked that when it started in Langas, it only stayed in Langas for three days. It never went beyond three days. Because within the three days, this other tribe sat down they thought amongst themselves to napigana na kunanja it is a hunger that made them stop to fight then they realize that there are other tribes now the people of this of the land who are now coming so why can't we discuss because langas is cosmopolitan they sat down they discussed among themselves and they stopped me because of a hunger they noticed that that time many of you were here there was money you would have but with the money you could not buy even an airtime with the money you had you couldn't do anything because the battles scattered everyone i wish i had somebody to say amen they say to joseph money has failed so money has limitations your neighbors your friends have limitations but the mercy of god i said the mercy of god i said the mercy of god i wish i had allowed that amen i said the mercy of god that is why we will provoke that mercy in the place men cannot work, mercy will work. In the place human beings cannot push it, mercy will work. Can I hear an amen? Jump up on your feet. I want us to raise a prayer right now. Are you ready to pray together with me? We have five minutes. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your hands. Let's go ahead and do something. Lift your hands as you're standing. I want you to pray with me. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, my life is limited. My people are limited my resources are limited but your mercy is not limited say oh god arise and have mercy on me let your mercy and your goodness follow me all throughout my days say lord i provoke your mercy in the place of prayer let mercy cover me let mercy follow me. Let mercy speak for me in my life, my family, my dreams, my expectations. I command your mercy to call to work for me. I want you to open your mouth right now. Begin to pray. Mercy will begin to work. every law let mercy work on your behalf in the name of jesus somebody open your mouth pray that the mercy of god will work in the mighty name of jesus lord we arouse you in the place of prayer and we pray that the mercy of god will begin to work for us in the name of jesus mercy will begin to work for us mercy will begin to work for us masoka la brocha de la bosembra bosh mercy oh god over my career arise and have mercy for it is not him that run neither him that will it but it is you that will show mercy show me mercy show me mercy in my ministry show me mercy in my destiny show me mercy in my life oh god i pray for your mercy today i arouse your mercy in the mighty name of jesus thank you that your mercy is turning my seasons around your mercy is turning in my days are out your mercy is opening hell for me your mercy is wiping the affliction over my life oh god remember mercy over my father over my mother over my wife over my husband over my children over my career over my business father today we pray that there will be mercy i plead the mercy of god over this church over this assembly assembly in word of life center eldred i ask you lord to remember mercy let your mercy be extended to this ministry be extended to every son and every daughter let mercy begin to work in a supernatural way oh god lord upon marriages represented in this assembly lord upon people that have been coming to this mountain to seek you let them experience your mercy let them encounter your mercy let them see your mercy speak on their behalf oh god let people begin to see mercy suspend every rule let people begin to see mercy wipe away afflictions oh god let people begin to see mercy enlarge them in the mighty name of jesus let mercy work for us today in the name of jesus lift your hands let's take the last prayer say heavenly father you are rich in mercy shout it again you are rich in mercy and your mercy is
it's everlasting say today i call on your mercy to save me to bring me to advantage to pull me out of warfare say lord bring me into mercy and let your mercy bring me to a place of advantage no more shall i lose shall i lose shall i be disadvantaged i refuse your mercy pushes me out to the place of advantage in the name of jesus i'm advantaged in everything i do i'm advantaged in everything i engage by reason of mercy i want you to open your mouth right now begin to cry that his mercy will pull you out of every shame and reproach his mercy will drag you out of every opposition and confusion his mercy will save you because he's a rich in mercy his mercy will pull you out of questions you have had somebody open your mouth and raise a prayer open your mouth and raise a prayer we have two minutes before we can close we have two minutes open your mouth and raise a prayer let your mercy pull me to advantage. Masoka rabosha le kanta la bosha. Break the back of shame by the power of your mercy, O oh God. Let your mercy wipe away shame. Let your mercy wipe away pain. Let your mercy wipe away reproach. Let your mercy wipe away things. That are delaying us let your mercy wipe away disadvantage let your mercy wipe away woes in our lives today my god arise and have mercy let your mercy speak you are rich in mercy by your mercy you will save your mercy is everlasting let it speak over our lives and destiny my god we call upon your mercy let it work for us today in the name of jesus now lift your hands and say lord i prophesy say i prophesy over my life come on say it aloud i prophesy over my life goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days all the days all the days of my life say lord let your mercy follow me throughout my life follow my family throughout our lives i want you to open your mouth and begin to clear it will follow you open your mouth and say every day mercy will follow you every day it will follow you in business every day it will follow your career open your mouth and declare in your school academics in your ministry in your church mercy will follow you in the name of jesus father i'm praying today that god there will be no closed door for mercy is following me wherever i go wherever i enter it will follow me 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 let it follow me in the name of jesus i feel a release here i feel something already already happening here masoka parika talika ramosha lakante lebesha ramasoka parika torima shaka leproshanda laba leka ramosha na makata laba follow me mercy and goodness follow me in the name of jesus by according to the order of the scriptures you have following me in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands and just worship him mm. Mm. we are closing just worship him for a while Rabo the priest will come and help me.
Uniongoze kwa huruma zako Usiponi bariki siwezi kwenda Uniongo zetana Uniongo zetana Umazako Usiponi bariki Zimezi kwenda Ninachua Hila mbubu zako Zimezi kwenda Aha Ninajua Mina kukuzako siwezi kwenda Kwa mkono wa